Hello and welcome to this video on determining the equation of a line. Now in previous videos on straight line equations, we saw that the general form of the equation of a straight line was y equals mx plus c. Now I'll explain the various components of that. Uh, the m was the gradient of the line. And remember gradient meant the steepness of the line. And more specifically, the value of m means for each time you go across one unit, it might be one square, one centimetre, etc., one unit, the y value changes by m. So if m was positive, then there's going to be an increase in m each time you go right one unit. And what the c means, that's the y-intercept. And the y-intercept is where the line crosses the y-axis. So this is the y-intercept here, that value would be c, the y-intercept. So just to give you an example, if I had y is equal to 3x plus 2, then the gradient is 3, and the y-intercept is 2. So that's your m, that is your c. And so if we put the y-intercept first, so let's say that was 2 on the y-axis, where it crosses the y-axis, and then each time you go across one unit, you're going up three units, so it'd be like that. So each time you go across one, you're going up three. The y value is increasing by three. So the line would go like that, and it would be infinitely long. And we're going to use that to solve these questions here, which become increasingly more difficult and use more and more skills as we go along the questions. So let's do this first relatively simple one. We've got a straight line has gradient three, i.e m is equal to 3, and the y-intercept is minus 2. So c is equal to minus 2. What is the equation of that straight line? Well, we can just substitute your m and c into this equation here. So we've got y is equal to m, i.e. 3, x, and then plus minus 2. But remember, when we write plus negative 2, we could also write that as just minus 2, like that. And by the way, x and y need to remain as variables. And that's because as you go across the line, the x and y value can vary, even though that the gradient is fixed and the y-intercept is fixed. Let's do this next one, which is a bit harder. We've got a straight line has the gradient 6, so we can immediately write m is equal to 6. And it passes through the point 0, 2. So it passes through 0, 2. What is its equation? Now, if I do a very quick sketch, it should become clear what's happening here. So if we draw the point 0, 2, you can see 0, 2 is going to be there. It's going to be on the y-axis because the x value is 0. And that means, because that x value is 0, that 2 is the y-intercept. That is the c. So that tells you that c is equal to 2. And that was only because the x value was 0 in this case. So again, we can do exactly what we did before. We can say y equals m, which is 6, x plus c, so plus 2 in this case. And that would be the equation of that line. Now, it's getting increasingly more difficult because I'm giving you less and less explicit information. Uh, a straight line passes through the points 0, 5 and 3, 17. What is its equation? So this time, we're given two points on the line, 0, 5 and 3, 17. But we're not given the gradient. We are given the y-intercept, though. If we did a quick sketch, you wouldn't need to sketch this, but if I had 0, 5 was, say, here, and 3, 17 was, say, up here, then we can see immediately, again, look, the y-intercept is 5. That's where the line crosses the y-axis. We know that tells us that c is equal to 5. But this time, we don't know m directly. We're not given m. However, we saw in a previous video that if we're given two points, we can work out the gradient from those two points. And do you remember the gradient was equal to, here's the formula, the change in y, that symbol there, that's the Greek letter delta, that just means a change in. The change in y over the change in x. So let's say we're going from this point to this point. That's the x value, that's the y value, that's the x value, that's the y value. What's the change in y to get from this point to this point? 5 to 17. Well, we're adding 12, aren't we? So it's 12 over, and what is the change in the x value? To get from 0 to 3, it's 3. And what's 12 divided by 3? It's 4. So now we've got m, it's 4. We've got c, it's 5. And we can write the equation. It's y equals m4 
x plus c. And we are done. And if we want, we can always check that this equation is satisfied these points. Do you remember that this is like a membership rule which says whether point is allowed to belong in the line? So if we take 3 and 17. If we did 4 times 3, 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. And the y value is 17. So we have 17 equals 17. That's true. So that point would belong in this line, and we've probably got it right. Now, this one is harder. We've got here... A straight line passes through the points 2, 5 and 5 minus 1. What is its equation? Now, the reason this is more difficult this time is that we don't have the y-intercept. We're not kind of directly given it. If I was to draw this, we've got 2, 5, which let's say is here, 2, 5, and we've got the point 5 minus 1. So 5 minus 1 might be here. And we've got a line that goes through these two points. So it looks like this. But neither of these points is on the y-axis. We're not directly given the y-intercept. Now, we could find the gradient exactly the same way as before. So we need to find the gradient first. So m is, let's go from this point to this point. The change in y, well, to get from 5 to minus 1, you're subtracting 6. It's minus 6 over the change in x. 2 to 5, you're adding 3. And minus 6 divided by 3, negative divided by positive, it's negative, so it's minus 2. Now, we can still fill in some of this equation. So let's fill in what we have so far. We know we've got y is equal to, now m in this case is minus 2, so we've got minus 2x, but we don't know what the c is, so we've got plus c. And then what we do here is we pick one of those two points, we can pick either this point or this point, and now because we know that point belongs on this line, it must satisfy its equation. So if we, sub if we pick this point and we substitute the values in, we're going to have y is 5, so 5 is equal to minus 2 times x, minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, plus c, and that was a result of having picked 2, 5, so I'll just indicate that my working. So 2, 5 resulted in this here. Now, because we've now got C in this equation, nothing else, we can work out what C is. So minus 4 plus what gives you 5? Well, it's 9, isn't it? So that tells us that C is 9. And now we've got our M, it's minus 2. We've got our C, it's 9. And so we know the equation of line. It's Y is equal to MX, so minus 2X plus 9. And we have finished that. Let me just do one extra example of that. I'm going to make one up on the spot before we go into the test your understanding questions because that was a bit harder, wasn't it? Let's just say that the line is going through the points um, 5, 0 and 25, 4. Now, we do exactly what we did before. Let's start by working out the gradient. The gradient is a change in y over the change in x. So the change in y, 0 to 4, is 4. And the change in x to get from 5 to 25, you're adding 20. Um, and 4 divided by 20, we can simplify that fraction to 1 over 5. So we know the grain is a fifth. And what we do is, because we don't know c yet, we can still substitute in what we know. So y equals mx plus c, y equals mx plus c, but we don't know the c yet. But again, we can just choose one of these two points, it doesn't matter which one, and substitute into this equation to work out what the c is. So let's just choose the first one again. So we've got 5, 0. We substitute that into this equation. We've got y, which is 0, is equal to a fifth of x, where a fifth of 5 is 1, plus c. Now c, we're adding 1 to it, so we just subtract 1 from both sides. We get minus 1 is equal to c, so we know that c is minus 1. We've got our c, We've got our m, and now we've got everything we need for the equation. So we, need, we know that y equals m x plus c. And when you plus negative 1, that's the same as subtracting 1. So we could write it like that. Right, I've got these two test your understanding questions now for you to do. I first want you to do a line which passes through the points 0, minus 1, and 8, 3. What is the equation of that line? And secondly, one of these harder types... It goes through 5, 6, and 8, 21. I want that equation as well. Right, so you may want to pause the video at this point to have a go at those. Let's do it. Now, because the x value is 0, it means this point lies on the y-axis, so we know that the y-intercept is minus 1. Remember, if we sketch it, 
if we plotted the point zero minus one, we can see it's there and we can see that's where the line intercepts the y-axis at minus one. To get the gradient, we just do change in y over change in x. Let's go from this point to this point. What's the change in y? To get from minus one to three, we're adding four. And the change in x to get from zero to eight is eight. And now four over eight, we could simplify that to a half. And now we've got everything we need. So we've got y equals m x plus c. And remember when you plus minus one, we could write that as just minus one. If you wrote y equals half x plus negative one, that would be fine. It'd just be slightly less tidy. And this one, this is the harder type because we don't have the y-intercept here. So we first find the gradient. It's change in y over change in x, which is equal to, well, six to 21, we're adding 15. And to get from 5 to 8, the change in x, we're adding 3. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And so we know the equation so far, y equals mx plus c. We know the m, but we don't know the c. We choose one of the points. Let's just choose the 5, 6. If we substitute those values in, y, which is 6, is equal to 5x. 5 times 5 is 25 plus c. Subtract 25 from both sides and we get minus 19 is equal to c. And that means we know the c, we know the m, so we've got everything we need. We've got y equals mx plus c. And there we go. Well done if you got that right.